Member for City White Rock. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to celebrate a true Canadian icon. Uh, that icon is, of course, somebody that's inspired uh, British Columbians, but uh, Canadians across this, this nation. That is, of course, Christine Sinclair. Uh, soccer fans, including myself, eagerly anticipate her final game with Canada's uh, women's national soccer team on December 5th. Emotions are running incredibly high. Now, I will tell you this, that uh, I remember my dad taking me to go see Wayne Gretzky as a kid to make sure that I actually was able to see one of the greatest. So I know families, including myself, on December 5th will be doing that. I'll be doing with that with my kids to make sure that I, along with 40,000 other people, are witnessing the final chapter in one of our most storied careers of women's soccer. Christine Sinclair's trailblazing journey from the fields of British Columbia to becoming the highest scoring player in international soccer history is encompassing both men's and women's games is nothing short of extraordinary. Her dedication, skill, and leadership have not only propelled her to the greatness, but have elevated the status of women's soccer on the global stage. I'm sure many of us fondly recall watching Sinclair fight for the Canadian team's historic gold medal win at the Tokyo 2020 Summer Olympics. Her contributions go beyond the field. They inspire young athletes across our province to dream big and pursue their passions with unwavering determination. Honorable Speaker, recognizing this profound impact she has made on our community, BC Place will be renamed, rightfully, Christine Sinclair Place for one day on December 5th. It will be a moment cherished by soccer enthusiasts, British Columbians, and Canadians alike. The significance of Sinclair's uh, retirement extends beyond this game. It resonates the values of perseverance, excellence, and the pursuit of one's dreams. May her retirement be as remarkable as her storied career.